navigational tool used by millions of people every day. With the drivers knowing where they're going, pilots flying planes more safe, construction workers building straighter roads, farmers planning more efficiently, golfers using better clubs, the uses of this innovative tool are virtually unlimited. It is called the Global Positioning System. Let's welcome our expert right junior scientist, Harish Ganesh, to talk more about his research on GPS. Hi, I'm Harish Ganesh, and today I'm going to talk about the amazing topic GPS, which stands for the Global Positioning System. You all know we all like to travel to different places. In olden days, we used to carry maps and directions in papers for reference, but now we have GPS, which takes us anywhere in the world without any tension. Now, let's see what is GPS. GPS is a network of about 30 satellites orbiting the Earth at an altitude of 20,000 kilometers. The system was originally developed by U.S. government for military navigation. But now, anyone with GPS device can receive radio signals that satellites broadcast. Now, let's see how GPS works. Whenever you are on the planet, at least four satellites are visible at any time. Each one transmits information about its position and the current timing at regular intervals. These signals traveling at the speed of light are intercepted by your GPS receiver. Once it has information on how far at least three satellites are, your GPS receiver can pinpoint exactly your location using the process called trilateration. Imagine you are standing somewhere on Earth with three satellites in the sky above you. If you know how far away you are from satellite one, then you know you must be located somewhere on the blue circle. If you do the same for satellites two and three, you can work out your location by seeing where the three circles intersect. This is just what your GPS receiver does, although it uses overlapping spheres rather than circles. The more satellites there are above the horizon, the more accurately your GPS can determine your location. A satellite is an object that orbits another object. In space, satellites may be made by man. The moon is a natural satellite that orbits the Earth. Most man-made satellites also orbit the Earth, but some orbit other planets such as Saturn, Venus, or Mars, or even the moon. Satellites are used for many purposes. There are weather satellites, communication satellites, reconnaissance satellites, astronomy satellites, and many other kinds. This is 2001 Mars Odyssey Orbiter. This was the spacecraft that orbited the Earth, but this is all the parts of the Mars Orbiter. Over here are the solar array of panels. The solar panels help the satellite get electricity from the sun. The gravity sensor head returns geological data about Mars' surface. The high gain antenna helps the communication from Earth to Mars. The star camera from the Mars orbiter are cameras that take pictures of Mars. Now, who invented GPS? These are the people who invented GPS. Roger Lee Easton was an American scientist and physicist who was an inventor of GPS along with Ivan A. Getting and Bradford Parkinson. Towers and satellites. Satellite phones, on the other hand, do not rely on towers, but instead they transmit signals via satellites orbiting the Earth. The fact that satellite signals are transmitted far above the Earth and do not rely on towers is what makes them useful in remote areas. How autonomous vehicles work? Autonomous vehicles are cars which do not need human control for driving, also known as autonomous cars. They combine sensors and software to control, navigate, and drive the autonomous cars. The Tesla or Google car uses this feature, which is basically when the car has low battery. It uses Google Maps, which is also called GPS, and it immediately goes to the closest charging station to charge. These cars talk to satellites 
to not crash on vehicles to avoid accidents. Hope you enjoyed my video and always stay tuned to Express Right for more videos. Harish, you even gave an extended information not only on GPS but also on satellite. You're pretty sure that each one of you now knows more about GPS. Satellites and how future of autonomous vehicles needs intelligent GPS. You all know, that's right. Stay tuned to Express Right.